everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this evening. I trust and hope that you have been enjoying your day. And so we'll be talking about what is happening across the North Atlantic. So there's that system affecting Florida, what is left of previously known Invest 93L, all that activity moving through and out. There's also Tropical Storm Sean. So Sean has actually re-strengthened from weakening to a tropical depression earlier. And the main focus of this video will be Disturbance 94L. There we can see all of that disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity in association with it. But of course, we want to briefly talk about the Caribbean. So we can see that there isn't much happening across the region. Maybe some brief showers here and there, maybe some overcast conditions for some areas. But for the most part, it has been pretty hot and dry for the majority of us. Unfortunately, because we have been dealing with the heat, some areas have been dealing with drought conditions for some time now. But as we head into next week, some of these conditions may be alleviated but not in the most ideal way. Let's head up into the vicinity of Florida and there we can see all that activity moving through the state. Still that possibility of some severe weather across some areas. So guys, please continue to listen to your local officials there and stay safe if you're being impacted by all this activity moving through. Now we're heading out into the main development region where we've got Tropical Storm Sean and uh, 94L. So kickstarting things looking at Sean. Now if you look closely, you can see that center take a look at that counter or that anti-clockwise spin so there's the center of the system it is exposed because it has been dealing with the wind shear so the wind shear is displacing all of the uh, all of the activity from the center resulting in an asymmetrical disheveled appearance on satellite so there is the infrared satellite imagery we're not seeing a whole lot happening but there's that new area of deep convection trying to form close to the center of the storm as we head a bit further east there we have our 94 l we'll go on to that in a moment but as for the latest cone forecast for sean here we can see it so maximum sustained winds are up to 40 miles per hour as of the 11 a.m update with the motion to the northwest at around 10 miles per hour so it may sustain tropical storm status headed into tomorrow morning but then as the day goes on it may weaken down to a depression and eventually become in post tropical meaning that it will be losing its tropical cyclone characteristics as it disintegrates so that wind shear is not going to let up and eventually we should see the system dissipating as we head either into the latter part of this weekend going into early next week now as it relates to invest 90 L. This is the latest from the National Hurricane Center. Here we can see that there is now a 40% chance of development. This area here is no longer highlighted in yellow. So now it is orange, which means that there's a medium chance of development. Again, 40% chance. And we're seeing that the westward trend continues. And even with models as well, going on to the model track guidance, as of the latest update, this is what we're seeing, this continuous westward motion expected off of the system. So the Eastern Caribbean will definitely have to be on watch for next week. That high pressure system is likely to become dominant and maybe we will not be missing this bullet because we have been dodging bullets this hurricane season. Many systems have curved up and away. This may not be one of them. So we'll definitely have to keep an eye on this. Although nothing is really solid right now because we're still talking about roughly a week or so out from now. So. We'll definitely have to keep an eye on it, but the trend is to the west and the models are showing an even stronger system. As I speak about that, let's go ahead and take a look at some model data. So uh, kickstarting with GFS, GFS actually is now showing that we won't see development of that tropical wave. This is as we head to Thursday of next week, a week from now. There we can see all that moisture associated with it, an increase in moisture in the Western Caribbean as well, and then a tropical wave behind 94L trying to get itself together. Heading pretty far out to the latter of the month to the 28th of October there we see the model showing that we may see something trying to form in the Gulf of Mexico or intensify there all that moisture out in the main development region likely associated with tropical waves moving in and then something trying to form in the southwest Caribbean pretty interesting there let's head on to the Canadian model so there we have the time this is as we're going to be heading into Monday of next week going to Tuesday there we have that system 94L intensifying and the pressure continues 
to decrease and eventually we see that track up to the northwest so uh, the canadian model is showing maybe a cat one hurricane approaching the lesser antilles uh that intensifies maybe into a cat two before making that curve out in the vicinity of puerto rico and the dominican republic let's head on to the icon model so icon does not go as far out but then as we are going to be heading into this weekend we're seeing that the system is trying to get itself together again imminent formation is unlikely because of the wind shear but conditions should gradually get a bit more conducive as we head into next week icon is showing that intensifying system moving mostly on a west to west northwest or track so this would potentially put northeastern islands at risk as we head on to the euro model now euro isn't one to be very bullish and it is showing something very interesting here so let's head on with it this is as we're going to be heading into the weekend there we see all that activity associated with 94l not seeing any uh imminent development there's that area of high pressure which is actually a blockade this is what steers these systems to the west when it is dominant and take a look at the intensification euro also showing that a hurricane could be approaching the caribbean as we're going to be heading into the latter part of next week and it will likely be much stronger than this uh the 12z run isn't fully loaded as of when i'm recording but taking a look at the wind shear up to that point we're seeing this pocket of favorable shear so those areas of those blues and those greens represent that the shear isn't too bad out ahead of the system so that will actually allow for intensification there we see those more intense or those more vibrant colors of oranges and reds which indicate that stronger shear so that would actually allow for some more intensification as the system continues to the west so we can see here that we have the canadian and euro models even the icon showing that we may have a hurricane making its way to the caribbean as i said that is not a hundred percent guaranteed but we are seeing that westward trend the westward trend has been there and it continues with an even stronger system so if we're in the lesser antilles maybe even the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, I would say heads up. Not saying that there is a tropical storm or hurricane headed towards you, but you want to be on watch for next week because the possibility will be there, especially with those very warm waters. So with the shear also becoming conducive and some decent moisture being out there ahead of the system, then we will most likely see that kind of intensification. So if this should manage to make it to tropical storm status, which I have pretty good confidence in, it will acquire the name Tammy. So Tammy is the next name to be used for the season. And by the way, going on to the model intensity guidance here, that green shading is representative of tropical storm intensity. And there we can see that most models are not showing that this will uh, imminently develop into a tropical storm, but rather maybe around four to five days out from now, we could see it manage to reach tropical storm status. So as we head to the middle part of next week, uh, we'll see what eventually happens with it. But again, and imminent formation is unlikely so it should maintain that disheveled appearance with uh, some robust thunderstorms at times as we head to the next couple of days but eventually that will try to consolidate as the system nears the caribbean so heads up and again nothing is 100 solid right now but the westward trend continues and so guys as usual i'll be here keeping you posted on all that is happening and all that is expected of the system and so that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this evening update i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond to you once i get the chance to do so and remember to always do otherwise